Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we're going to talk about flip-flops. How many of you have a pair of these at home? How many of you wear flip-flops every day you can when it gets to be spring or summer? I know I do. It feels good to get those heavy shoes off after a long winter and go almost barefoot. There are a lot of good things about flip-flops, but they have their downsides too. For example, your feet can get dirty easily after a long day wearing them. It's difficult to keep the dirt out, so by the time you get home, your feet are filthy and probably stinky too. In Jesus' time, they had no shoes nor socks. They wore sandals instead. Imagine walking countless miles just to visit families and friends. Imagine the mess they would make. Because of that, there were servants dedicated just to wash their guests' feet. Do you think servants were volunteering just to wash their guest feet. Probably not. <sighs> so we've established how dirty their feet could get. Imagine washing 10, 20, or 30 people's feet. Would your principal wash your students' feet? Would the president of a big company wash the feet of his or her guests before dinner? Probably not also. Washing feet was servants' work. So when Jesus got on his knees and washed the feet of his disciples, it was a big deal. Jesus was their teacher, their master. They had left everything to follow him. He was more important than a principal or a company president would be to us. He was the Son of God. Seeing the man they believed who was the Messiah wash their feet sent a powerful message to the disciples and sends a powerful message to us too. Jesus is the King of Kings. And if the King of Kings would wash the feet of his own disciples, how then should we treat our friends, neighbors, or even our enemies? Washing feet was a dirty job. It was one of the dirtiest things a servant could do. But it was not too dirty for Jesus. If Jesus was willing to wash the feet of men who were his followers, we should be willing to serve others in a similar way. Thank you.